Hello boys and girls. Today I'd like to show you how to play your physical PSP collection on your PlayStation Vita. As we all know, the PlayStation Portable uses these little UMD discs, whereas the Vita plays games on these little cards. Now you can play them on the, on the Vita is quite simple. You just open the slot up and try to force it in there really hard. I'm joking. But there actually is a way how you can play your physical uh, PSP collection on the uh, on the PlayStation Vita, you just have to have custom firmware. I'll show you what you want to do. First, open up the console like that. Stick the game in. Now, this, this uh, PSP is running custom firmware, so if I just go into the memory card, give me a second, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see here there is the option to run custom firmware. So I just hit this icon, Give it a few minutes, it'll do its magic. Okay, it says press X to launch the custom firmware. Hit the X button, and press X to start. Now it's rebooting and it's going to be loaded with the custom firmware. Just give it some time. And okay, now it's got the custom firmware, and you can prove it. You just hit the, where is it the? There we go. If I hit when I hit the select button, it brings up all these options. Now the option you want to go down to here is um, USB device. You just see if you can see that. Yeah, USB device. Now that what this does is allows you to select which memory to access when you connect it to a computer. So if I hit go through flash three, here we go. UMD disk. Normally when you connect a PSP to the computer, it would go to the memory card, but here we can actually set it to UMD disk, and you'll see what happens when I connect it to the computer. Okay, now that I've got the custom firmware running and I've got the USB device set to the UMD disk, when I connect this to the computer, instead of going to the memory card, it will actually detect what's on the, on the disk that I put in the device. So that will let you copy, I'll show what happens, that will let you copy the, the game to your computer. So I connect the USB cable into the computer, like that. And let's see, I connect the other end. This will use a, this is a, U, a mini USB. I connect it into the top of the console here. And I can go into the USB connection. Okay, now it's in USB mode. And if you look at the computer, as you'll see, instead of going to the, to the uh, memory card, it'll go to the actual UMD drive. And inside will be a file, an ISO file. Let me just make that a bit larger so you can see them more clearly. See, it's this is uh, UMD 9660.iso. That's essentially the entire game contents. All right, simple matter now of copy and paste it wherever you want on your computer. As you can see, I've got a special folder here where I keep all my my ripped PSP games. So I just simply paste it. And there we go, now it's copying the, let me see how big is this one, this is about 750 megabytes. And it says it'll take about, uh, hasn't calculated yet, but it uh, should take a few minutes. Okay, it says it's going to take about 8 minutes and 30 seconds to copy, so give it some time. Okay, now it just finished copying, so now you have a, a, um, ISO copy of the Universal Media Disk. All right. So first, of what you want to do now is you just want to rename it. So just double click like that. There we go. Um, this is from Russia with Love, so I'm going to rename this as uh, 007 from Russia with Love. Dot ISO. Okay. And now I just uh, disconnect the PSP. Unplug that. Okay, and now essentially right, you don't even have to use the disc anymore. You can keep it on display, you can sell it or stick it up Rick's bottom, whatever you prefer. 
Now you could, if you wanted to, you could copy the ISO back to the PSP if you just wanted to continue playing it off the PSP, but if you've upgraded to a Vita, you can play the, play the games off the Vita. Now you'd have to just have to copy the ISO file to the Vita. Okay, this Vita is also running custom firmware. What you want to do is you want to go into Vita Shell, which will give you access to the PS Vita's root folders. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you just press start. Okay, and you want to basically uh, set, select your USB drive. You could go to the, uh, let's see, you could go to the memory card, uh, but I like to go to, because I've got a SD to Vita card in there, I just select SD to Vita. Okay, I press start, get out of that. Now I press select. Okay, it says connect this PS connect this system to a PC using a USB cable. Now I get out a micro USB cable, not a mini, a micro. Okay, plug the full sized end into the PC and the other end into the PS Vita. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our our ISO file. Copy, and now we want to go into the actual drive. You'll see here we've got a new drive, this is the Vita. Now this is important, you want to make sure hidden items are ticked. Here you go, now you've got access to all the folders that are not normally uh, visible to the end user. What we want to go to is uh, PSPMU, that's emulation. Now we go to the ISO folder. If you actually when you create this for the first time there won't be a folder called ISO so you want to create a folder called ISO as you can see I've already done so so I just copy and paste the ISO file into this folder and it says it'll take about about 1 minute and 45 seconds to copy it's longer when you're copying from the PSP but it's much quicker when you're copying to the Vita Okay, now it's copied over to the Vita's SD card. Now I can just disconnect the Vita, so I just, uh, it says USB connected, I hit the circle button to cancel it out. Now that we've got the uh, ISO file copied, we just exit out of Vita shell. Close up. And what we want to go into then is we want to go into Adrenaline. This is basically a, um, a homebrew application that allows you to run PSP custom firmware as a secondary operating system on the Vita. So it's basically like turning your system into a two-in-one system. As you can see, the PSP style uh, interface is loading up. Okay, now is it connected to the right one? Go into the settings. Make sure that, yes, it's set to UMAO, which is what I have my, um, my SD card set to. So I go into the memory card stick. Takes a while to turn on because there's a lot of files there. Here we go. As you can see, it's now got James Bond 007 uh, from Russia with Love saved to it. And it's just loading it up like it's a normal PSP game. And so that's how you get your physical PSP games onto your PlayStation Vita. One of the deal breakers for many PSP owners was that the Vita couldn't play their physical PSP collection. Well, problem solved. Hope this video helped you out and uh, happy gaming.